Okay, so determine the sum of this series. It gives me the numbers. It doesn't tell me how many terms there are, but I can figure out how many terms there are. All right, it's going, it's doubling each time. All right, so there's lots of ways to do this. Again, I'm not using complex formulas. I'm just going to keep going. All right, so 32, then 64, then 128, then 256, then I think 512 if I do this right here. 256 times not plus times 2, 512 and then times 2, 1024. All right, so 512 and then there. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, now I can go to the formula. I can write these out. There's 10 things there. I don't know. It's like a data line to type them in, um, but I'll use the formula. Obviously, you know how to type them in the calculator if you want to. Um, it's A1 minus A1 times the rate to the N, which is what I didn't know, 1 minus the rate. So I put all that in my calculator. 2 minus 2 times 2 to the 10 over 1 minus 2, 2046, 2046. And you would get the same thing if you add it. All right, so these are really just playing a game. One of the things you need for the formula is missing, so you find it.